I'm Mama Eve, and today's a good day. Today's a great day. Today is a fabulous day, but once more important, today is your day. Well, y'all know Mama always coming up with something. I have some clients, and uh, they often come in, when we start talking about authors, they'll say, quote, Mama, my place is just too small. And a lot of times I try to explain to people that you do not have to have a large space for an altar. It is good if you have a large space, but if you don't have the space to use, why not take the, the space that you have and use it for your benefit? So, today's video is part one of three parts. Can you guess what's in my box? Ah, uh, probably can't. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a shoe box altar. Wow. Mama, I never heard of that. Guess what? Spiritual imagination, that's what mama have. For all my honey buns that don't have privacy or they're living in a small place, you do not have to be without an altar for one more day. So, the three videos I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making three different altars. Video one. This is a ancestral altar. Now, I'm gonna open up the box and I'll show you what I have in the box. Of course, you can use your own spiritual imagination and you'll see what I use so you can come close to that or maybe you just want to, you might have an idea of something else to place on your altar. So let's open up the box and let's get started. First, I have pictures, pictures of ancestors. I have a white cloth. I have some frankincense and myrrh. That's incense, incense cones. What would be an altar without a candle? Well, tea lights, little teeny tea lights. And you need water. Whenever you're doing an altar, you need water. And of course, rum. I have a baby cauldron. And I'll show you why. I have a little cross. Y'all want to see something cheap and cute? very inexpensive, but it is um, a wonderful thing to have. Look at this, y'all. A little baby bell. Isn't that so cute? Love it. Then I have some candy. I have some real cotton pods. So when you're doing an altar, you try to get all of the elements. That's another video I'm going to be making about the elements. So you try your best to get close as you can. Now remember, some things can be symbolic. So if I had a little artificial plant, I could use that um, instead of the cotton. But this was real cotton, and so it still had that energy in it. Also, I have some ancestor money here. And I'll tell you how I'm going to use that. And finally, I have a prayer book. Now, you may think we're going to use this as the author. No. Mama, 
I get so proud of myself. Listen, you know how they say people need to uh, um, show other people that they encourage them? I encourage myself. There's a song that says, sometimes you just have to encourage yourself. Sometimes I just encourage myself. I just blow myself away. We're going to use the top. The top of the box. So, I'm going to show you exactly how you can put this together. First, the white cloth. You see that? I just cut it the size of the top. Next, the pictures. So I'm going to put the pictures. Let me see if I can do it this way. So that way you may have a better picture of it. Okay? And, of course... I'm only going to be using one candle. Now, if you want to, you can put a light or a match in there. And we want to get some earth energies. So, we're going to place the cotton. Uh -huh. And we're going to put some candy for them. And here, a little bottle of rum and some water and a cross. Now, this is something else. I had another client and he's not a Christian. He wanted to set up an altar to his grandparents. So he asked me, he said, well, can I use a unk? I said, did they use a unk? He said, no, they was Christians. I said, well, what I want you to do is to get across. He said, oh, I never thought of that. So maybe they was not Christians and they used something else. You can substitute any of this. The cauldron. And my frankincense and myrrh, the sacred incense. Okay. Well, actually, let's see if I can get this open. All right. So these are cones. All right. And what I like about this, anything that you're not using or you have some leftovers, just set it back in your box. And let's see, I'll take one ancestor money and I'll put the rest of it right here in the box. See? And my bell. So how about that? Look. We have a ancestral altar. Simple as that. So let's just say you want to set this altar up every Monday. There is no particular day. You choose a day. If you want to do it once a month, if you want to do it once a week, that is totally up to you. If you want to do it every day, it's up to you. Now, what I would do is I would ring my bell. Remember, we're, we're calling them. We're invoking them. So I would ring my bell and I would start out with some prayers. I would light my candle and light my incense. The most important thing about an altar, it is not the size, it's not the, the items and how expensive they are. It's about the relationship. 
It's about the relationship. So I would talk. Maybe grandma here loved Amazing Grace. I would put it on my phone or get a CD. I would play that song. I would talk to her. I would recite some prayers. You know, some of your petitions. And we always thank them. So we thank them for just being um, part of who we are. Always respecting our ancestors. So now, the ancestral money. I don't know yet if I'm going to be doing a video about this. But for this video, I'm going to help you out. Huh. Here we go again. Mama just always got to, to try to bust up some myths. A young lady came into the shop. And she's one of my honey bunnies. And she was in need of some, some money, some funds. So she wanted to purchase some ancestor money. Now, generally when somebody come in and they want ancestor money, I just give them what they want. But this particular day, I was led to ask her why she was buying this ancestor money. And she said, well, Ma, I need money. So I'm gonna burn the ancestor money so they can give me money. So I asked her, and I told her that I was going to share this because I want to help y'all. How do she, how, how did she come up with that? So if you need $500, you will buy $500 worth of ancestor money and burn it, and then it just magically appear. Ancestor money is not burnt for that reason she said it's not I said no I said it pays com cosmic debt slave debt but this is also to honor them now it is a whole big thing about where it started how it got started who used it to me it's not important what is important is showing gratitude and blessing my ancestors. But it is a way that I want you to burn this. Now remember, Mama always say, the way I do things, other people may not do. I'm not concerned about that. I want you to do things that I have tried and I know that it works. First of all, you need to write on this ancestor money. If you just getting this ancestor money and you just lighten it up, baby, you just lighten up rice paper. Okay? Put on there to all of my ancestors, known and unknown. Because there is some some situations where people don't have any family or they've been adopted. You know, so that's right, known and unknown. Right on here. On the back, you can just, you can do prayers. You can thank them for opening doors. Thank them for helping you. You can write all of that. Now, you fold the ancestor money. Okay? So you got their name. You got your petition on the back. Now, it's nothing wrong with saying something like this in your petition. To all of my ancestors, known and unknown, help open doors for me that will allow me to be debt-free. Something like that. All right? But I would not put to my ancestors, known and unknown, please have a... And don't y'all laugh, because this is true. A leprechaun to bring me or shower me down money. I don't think that's going to work. Now, I believe in miracles wholeheartedly. But 
let's do it the other way all right so you fold the money and i fold the money towards me because i'm the one that's doing it and i want i'm i want their protection i want their guidance i want them to um to hear my petitions and my prayers okay then you would light this ancestral money now there is many different denominations small i think i have from 500 to 88 million or 1 billion you don't need 55 sheets one two three will be fine you do not need to do it in my opinion every day once a week will be fine now if you want to do it more than that you can so that's what you do so that's why i put the little cauldron in here because this paper flames very quick so once you light it i would want you to put it in something that's flame resistant not glass because it burns very, very quick. And I don't want you to get burned. All right? So, and another thing, don't throw away the ashes. Collect your ashes. Once you get enough collect, uh, um, ashes collected, on a nice, windy day, release the ashes and let the wind carry it away. All right? So... I think that this is a wonderful idea. And if you're in a small, tight space and you want to alter, set yourself up an altar. And when you're finished with the box altars, you can simply do this. privacy put it where you would put your shoes you can also use shoe boxes or store it under your bed or in a closet and you pull it out now what about feast foods how often should you do feast foods when you're doing an offering that is entirely up to you some people do feast foods every day whatever they eat they set a plate out for the ancestors i i don't do that birthdays generally two days um in may and in october but if you don't want to do it like that special days birthdays anniversaries um once a month um once every three months and you will set 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 your altar up and then offer feast foods so i hope this helped you and who knows what, with mama's spiritual imagination, who knows what we're going to be making next? Because I don't know. I just see what the, y'all know, y'all was great say it, what the spirit say. All right. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Every subscriber come through my phone and I just get so happy and so excited. Share my videos, please share my videos i'll be at 400 very soon and it's all because of you i appreciate it and the comments don't forget anything in here did you see that you cannot get for instance the cotton not the pictures the stuff that you could buy but really everything in here this won't cost you more than ten dollars all right so have a good day because it is a good day. It's a great day. It is a marvelous day. But what's more important, today is your...